Hey guys, it's Ashley here with another Manny tutorial. Here are all the items you'll need for this look. I'll leave a list of the products in the description box below. To start off, you'll need to paint your nails with a white base coat. I'm using Broadway Nails in French White. The next part will be a dry gradient. We'll be using Milani and Mauving Forward. Put four dots on a piece of plastic. For the second color, we'll be using Milani in Pink Beige. Apply four more dots, kind of staggered from the other colors. And the next color is going to be finger paints in Peace, Love, and Green. Apply four more dots of polish, kind of randomly between the other dots. Be sure to use plenty of green as this color is lighter than the others, and if you use too little, it will be overpowered. For this next part, I'm using a stamper head to smush the colors together, but you can also use another piece of plastic like a Ziploc bag. Now you'll need to step away and let it dry for a good 20 minutes. Check to make sure it's dry and then gently scrape it up using a cuticle remover or a toothpick. When pulling it up, be extra careful not to pull too fast as this is a big surface area and it will rip very easily. Next, we'll need to apply the dry marble to the nail. Be sure to put it on shiny side down as this will make it adhere to your nail. Be careful not to get any creases or lines or bubbles underneath the dry marble. To secure the dry marble to your nail, you'll need to apply a layer of top coat. I'm using Sesh Feet. the top coat has dried a little bit, use acetone and a cleanup brush to break away the excess polish from your nail. For stamping, we'll be using Festive Collection Plate Number 8 by Moyu London. We'll be stamping with Munde de Unas in black. The first image we'll be stamping is this little deer. Scrape your image and then pick it up using your stamper. Remove any excess image from the stamper using a piece of tape. Be careful not to touch the tape to the deer. Line the deer's head up with the center of your nail. 
and then gently press down with the rolling motion applying them to your nail. Next we'll be adding a couple of pine tree leaves to the design. Use the same process as before with picking up the image. Just like before, use tape to remove any excess images from the stamper. Line the leaves up with the bottom of the nail just so that a little bit sticking up and gently apply them. Apply a layer of top coat to seal in your stamping. This next part is optional, but for an added sparkle, I decided to use Orly Shine On Crazy Diamond as a finishing top coat to add some glitter to my image. And you're done! I just love the way this turned out and I think it's perfect for fall. Thanks for watching and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe!